Hey everybody. Well, I've got rid of all my drums. I got rid of the, I had an acoustic set and I had a pretty neat little Roland TD-1K that I kind of hated getting rid of, but I'm not really a drummer and I didn't want to take up any space in my studio for drums because I don't think it's necessary. The only thing I've got left, if you've watched any of my videos, is my little cajon setup and uh, I can tap out the kind of beats that I want and the ideas for what kind of patterns I want on that just, just fine. Um, someone did suggest that I should get maybe a drum machine and I'm just not patient enough for that. I, I, I just can't stand going through that process. It drives me nuts. I, you know, so anyways, <laughs> another possibility is that use your phone and there's lots of great apps on there with cool actual samples of drums and all that but on an iOS device, you know, or a Mac, you already have uh, garage band on there which has really cool stuff on it so that's free and if you've got an android device or a windows desktop you could use band lab also free and they have really cool stuff on them so what i did was i got myself one of these little midi keyboards this is a little elisa's here and it's got the pads on there where you you pound out the drum parts on it so i figured well i'll go ahead and go into i have an ipad that's got a headphone out and i'll put it in like one of my little recorders like a task cam so that's exactly what I did. I took this thing, plugged it into my iPad, came out of the headphone jack and right into the, uh, the task cam. And then I'll just tap out these beats like this and I'll get the ideas down. And then I can just ship those ideas off to a real drummer or, you know, figure out another option. And um, so you get the idea. It's cool. Now, most of the time, you're going to want a little bit more than tapping and, you know, little tiny fragments of song. So you can use the power of these programs like um, Band Lab or GarageBand, and they've got drummers loaded into them. And um, they have, obviously, loops and stuff. And there's loops all over the Internet, but I'm just using this as an example. This is what I use. And it's pretty powerful. You know, you can change the time signature of the songs and the tempo, and um, you can change how complicated he plays and, you know, pick different drummers. Like, um, this is Logan, and he's got a... You know, like this heavy rock, ACDC kind of style or whatever. And um, you got, let's see, Kyle. Yeah, a little more studio-ish. And anyway, so so you get, you know, what the style you want, the kind of drum pattern you want. And, um, you know, I record those onto a one or two tracks, generally two, um, on the songs that I name. So I'll name all the songs, and then I'll put the type of drum beats I want on there, and I can work on them over time. And I'm far more likely to do that than I am to, if my only option was to have like a uh, interface and an expensive computer to like, you know, move around with or go here or there with or out in the yard or something. There's just no way I'd even do that or on a trip or a vacation. But with something like this, DP006, I can go anywhere and I'll have all these songs loaded with the beats on them. And all I need is a set of headphones. <laughs> and um, a, a cable and I can work on my songs or not even I can even just go through you know the front facing you know condenser mics with like a resonator and I'll often do that you know I'll just sit in the yard or something I'm wait I wouldn't drag like all that other stuff around with me there's just no way that's going to happen or if I go on a vacation or something like that and I want to work on some songs I bring a little it doesn't matter a ukulele a small guitar or um, practice guitar I have a practice guitar I bring with me and uh, that's how I roll. I, I like doing it that way. Um, and then I'll get tracks like that put down and then just start working on them and, uh, you know, add parts piece by piece and uh, build up my songs. So this is uh, me and Kyle. I laid a bass track. That's exact beat right there. That's cool enough. Hey, it does the job, you know. I'm a little crazy on that bass, huh? <laughs> Anyways, so this is just what I've been doing with drums, and I um, hope you got something useful out of it and enjoyed it, and um, I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing, and um, thanks a lot. That's all I got for this one. See you guys.